Most people try to avoid getting a permit. In today's climate, you have to get a permit. We're not 20 years ago. You have to get a permit because if you don't, you'll get caught. And if you don't get caught in the first job, you get caught in the second job, someone will turn you in, a neighbor will turn you in, or someone will just drive by and see it. Or you go to sell a house and the lawyer or the closing company says, we'll buy the house, but we want to see the CO or the certificate of occupancy certificate of occupancy, meaning that you had all your permits completed. And it's best because they keep an eye on you. Yeah, they do. And rather than look at that as a negative, especially if you're somebody that's brand new, that that um, inspector is going to make sure that your contractor is being honest, making sure that they're doing things up to code and the right way. Because the last thing you want to do is have a bad flip. You know, we, we want to encourage people to do things the right way and yeah. do, you know, be honest in your jobs. You find the least expensive solution to fix the problem the right way. Remember our third flip? We had a guy that was out there putting a deck together. Oh my they gosh. Were, they were digging the holes the wrong depth. They were trying to cheat on the depth of the footings. They were cutting them in half. I cutting them in yeah. half, and they were yes, using the wrong penny kind of penny nails. Outside, yeah, penny nails, something, something you, you use in a wall. And outside, they're going to rust, whatever. Wrong nails, and the inspector walked up and said, Glenn, they don't know what they're doing. Get them get off them the off job. Get them off your job site. And so that was a big thing because we were able to get them off the job. So he had our back and we never yeah. forgot that. So remember, get your permits. They'll keep you in mind. <laughs>